So to, to make whiskey, uh, you need to start with a really good grain base. Um, what we like to do is work a lot with what we have locally. And here in WA, especially where I grew up uh, down in Narrage in the wheat belt, but access to a range of great wheat and barley, and we get it direct from farmers. What we're looking for in grains is uh, essentially their sugar content or fermentable sugars. So all grains have what we call starches, and they're basically sugars hooked up together in a long chain. We want to first break those down and get those fermentable sugars available for our yeast, because yeast is the next part of the process. Our yeast do all the hard work essentially, eat all the sugar, they create the alcohol. Um, as distillers, we then take that alcoholic base and we distill that and take our cuts to, to get flavours. Yeah, so how the distillation process actually works, it's all to do with different boiling points, the different products we've created. Main products are ethanol, which is a good alcohol that we all enjoy, and, and water. So ethanol boils and turns into a vapour at 78 degrees Celsius, but water doesn't do that to about 100 degrees Celsius. And in between 78 degrees and 100 degrees, there's all different flavour compounds that will slowly separate off at different boiling points. Then we condense them back to a liquid and then we collect those. Now the most important part here for the distiller is to distinguish what's the good stuff and what's the bad stuff. So every spirit run has three parts called heads, hearts and tails. Now heads is all the nasty stuff, so you want to separate that out. The next part that comes through, that's our hearts. So now hearts is all the really beautiful, clean alcohol, a lot of our good grain flavours. We want to capture all our lovely hearts and then we get tails. Tails come through last, a little bit oily sometimes, but you want to collect a little bit of those for character as well. So for us, we have to uh, distinguish what we want to collect and that's what eventually turns into whiskey. So once we've got our cuts, um, it's time to barrel age that. Typically 60 to 80% of your final flavours can actually come from the, the wood that you choose and how you age it. And climate's always a big factor in there as well. So what happens when it gets hot here in Perth, wood expands and it sucks in a lot of that liquid that we've got in the barrel. When it's cold, it pushes it back out. So the spirit will go in and out of the sides of the, the walls of the barrel. Um, and two things happen, it actually sucks in the, the, the wood flavours. Uh, but also the hearts we've taken, some of the fatty acids in there and the alcohols, they'll react together to create what we call esters. And esters are fruit flavours and stuff like that. So the actual spirit's changing, oxidising, creating flavours, and the wood's actually adding some character and mellowing that spirit out as well. So we like, we like at a young distillery, uh, four years old, but we've had a really good response to the whiskies that we've released. Uh, picked up a lot of gold wards in a, in a couple of uh, places over, overseas. What makes Whippersnapper uh, so special is we've got a really innovative approach to making our spirits, um, especially our, our whisky. Uh, it's kind of about taking the best of what we've got in Perth, so our natural grains that we have, um, our climate, and kind of using those factors to get really unique but just top shelf uh, whiskies.